Hi, hello students. Today in this video, we are going to study what exactly engineering mechanics is. I've seen many students getting confused in mechanics and engineering mechanics. Mechanics is basically study of motion. Simple. Mechanics has three main branches. Quantum mechanics, relativistic mechanics and classical mechanics. Quantum mechanics is study of motion of particles which are smaller than hydrogen atom. This is not subject matter of engineering mechanics. No. Relativistic mechanics is study of bodies which are moving at a speed of light. This is not subject matter of engineering mechanics. And third branch of mechanics that is classical mechanics. This is perhaps oldest branch of mechanics is based on Newton's laws of motion. Classical mechanics is also known as Newtonian mechanics. And this branch deals with motion of bodies which we observe in our day to day life. But classical mechanics is further divided in three branches. Fluid mechanics, mechanics of solids, and mechanics of rigid bodies. Fluid mechanics is study of motion of fluids, means liquids and gases. This is not subject matter of engineering mechanics. And now the other two branches of classical mechanics. Listen, mechanics of solids and mechanics of rigid bodies little confusing listen a force let's talk about a force now what do you mean by a force a force is an agent which can change size and shape of a body and also it is responsible for state of motion of body at school level in physics, you have studied force is a vector quantity and it has magnitude, it has direction, it is measured in Newtons, etc. What we are here want to know that a force has two types of effects on bodies. Known as external effect and internal effect. What do you mean by external effect? State of motion of the body. Simple. A particular state of motion of a body, for example, body is stationary or a body is moving with certain acceleration. This state of motion of body is a result of forces acting on that body. But at the same time, by application of forces, we can bend the body, we can twist the body, we can elongate, we can compress, that means we deform the body. And this deformation of a body under the application of forces that is internal effect of forces external effect state of motion internal effect deformation simple mechanics of solids deals with internal effect of forces that is deformation and mechanics of rigid bodies deals with external effect of forces that is state of motion engineering mechanics is mechanics of rigid bodies rigid bodies no material is rigid you know already all materials are elastic up to certain limit and they deform and this deformation is directly proportional to applied load you have studied hooke's law earlier but when we say that a body is a rigid body what does that mean? It simply means you have neglected deformation of the body. You have assumed particular body as rigid body. So mechanics of rigid bodies, in this subject, we don't consider deformation under application of forces. Remember, this is important. So mechanics of rigid bodies is study of external effect of forces on bodies and this is what is engineering mechanics is. Engineering mechanics 
has two branches statics and dynamics so in engineering mechanics we study statics and dynamics what is statics study of bodies at rest and dynamics is study of bodies which are in motion those students who don't know me i am rajendra bade i have more than 35 years of experience in teaching engineering students of mumbai university i teach subjects engineering mechanics engineering drawing strings of materials theory of motion etc if you are interested like the video click the bell icon so that as soon as i upload the video you will get the notification don't hesitate to comment on the video do not hesitate to give me suggestions so have a good day and we'll meet in our next video till then bye bye